Today I'm going to teach you how to play Hercules, the resident strong boy himself in Divine Knockout. Now, I know I never used to play Hercules enough before, and the only reason I'm really making this video because I got constant messages to make it, so I was like, you know what, this is the perfect time to give you guys the skills I've learned with Hercules and what has made me win a lot of matches with him in 1v1 and 2v2. 3v3, okay, I play that once in a while. Now we're going to first start off this video with the build I use. Then we're going to go into my favorite part of the video where I'm going to teach you the tips and tricks that I learned along the way to make me a better strong boy himself. So the first thing we're going to touch here is the divine trait, and it's going to be enraged. All heavy attacks, divine strike and berserker raid swings deal an additional 30% knockback while you are over 85% vulnerability. I think out of all the divine traits for my personal playstyle, this works perfectly as Hercules is a strong boy. Having that extra 30% knockback on those attacks helps so much. I'm just able to knock people around and get them out easily. Now we're going to go on to the minor traits. So the first minor trait we're going to use is Boulder Barrage. Hitting an enemy with the boulder reduces the cooldown by 4 seconds. Now the reason I choose this is very simple. Sometimes you just want to chuck your boulder at your enemies at a distance before you look for an opportunity to engage. You can use your boulder to knock people out or even counter certain abilities when your enemies are coming towards you. I personally love to use it to gain some distance. If they're coming at me and I know I'm not ready, if I hit them with that boulder, they're going to be knocked back just a little bit or a lot depending on their vulnerability. So having this up faster is always something I like to have for any scenario especially in teams now for that being said we're going on to the next minor trade and that is simply going to be heavyweights hits against you daily reduce 7.5 percent knockback why i believe this is important because hercules is a sturdy tough boy and since using enrage as my divine trait i have to be over 85 percent vulnerability to benefit from that i think heavyweights kind of counters it where now i'm a little less likely to be knocked out at that higher vulnerability simply because my knockback potential is now reduced now for the last minor trade, I actually have two options right here. You can choose whichever one fits your build. I use them and switch them around all the time. So the first one is going to be no pain, no gain. Hits against you deal an additional one damage where hits against your enemies deal two damage. I actually really love this. It, it kind of balances itself out. Next up, you can switch it out with tough it out. Basically taking damage charges your berserkers rage 25% faster. So it's totally up to you and your play style. Next up for Greater Blessings, I'm going to give you the two options I use. The first one I use the most is Saul's Temper. Deals an additional 50% damage to the last enemy that you knocked out in a round, or deal an additional 10% damage if you have not been knocked out yet in a round. That extra damage can come in handy, especially when you're struggling against an opponent and you need to make sure you come back with a vengeance. Now the second Greater Blessing is Athena's Wisdom. Hits against you, deal a reduced 20% knockback for three seconds after dodging. I think that reduced knockback is extremely important on Hercules since you don't want to be knocked out as fast and your main damage with this build is going to come when you reach close to 85% vulnerability. Obviously by that time you're expecting to have your opponent at a higher vulnerability than you or close to. Okay, so this is my current build that I use mainly with Hercules. Now we're going to go into the best section, my favorite section, and it's going to be the tips. Now, one of the things I need you to learn here, I am not the greatest Hercules player. I'm still learning along with you. However, this build and my playstyle right now, I have found the most success with, and I'm going to currently keep improving. Once I get better, I'm going to make another guide to show you guys what to do. So the first thing to keep in mind is with his pounce. So one of the things that you want to understand, your pounce can be used in two ways. One, you can use it to retreat. Two, you can use it to engage and attack your enemies in 1v2, 2v2, or 3v3. So noting that, let's say for example, you hit your enemies out with your aerial attacks or just they're in the sky off the map. If you use your pounce correctly, you can literally cancel it, go straight up to them and knock them out of the map. And I think this is one of the major strengths with Hercules. He has such a heavy kit when he hits his opponents. He can knock them out on early stages or suicide completely, making sure they are totally eliminated. Now, another thing, he's very good at counter engaging. So keep that in mind. And what I mean by that is when you're in a team fight or you're just by yourself and you have your opponent in the air, you have a good capability to counter them again and do some more damage or no more knockback, I should say. Another thing to keep in mind with pounds, when you land on, obviously you can use the area to scatter your enemies. If you time it properly and use it on your enemies, enemies when they're going for the health orb you can knock them straight back before they even get a chance to get their health orb next up we're going to talk about his aerial attacks which is his air light and air heavy i personally believe they are one of the best in the game and they have massive range and interrupt potential as well as massive knockback so that is one of his most powerful skills to master is when to use your air light and air heavy on him he also has massive light attack range since simply he's wielding this massive huge mace just like how Ymir is as well you know these guys are big strong boys so they got this long long weapon 
Now we're going to talk about the boulder. Now the boulder is very important to Hercules in general because simply you're literally ripping a giant piece of rock off the ground and chucking it at your enemies. So obviously it's going to do some nice damage to them. So with that being said, you need to know the circumstances of how you want to use it. And this is why I specifically chose that minor trait to reduce the cooldown when you hit your opponent. So one of the main ways I use it is obviously if I want to buy time with my enemies or just add some extra damage from afar, I will chuck it. If I see two of my enemies walking towards me or one coming to me, and I'm not ready to engage. If I hit them with that boulder, that buys me just enough time to get ready to go in and do some nice light attack damage, air damage, whatever it is I'm ready to do at that moment. It also throws off your enemies for like a second after being hit. So if you can go in right after that with maybe a charge or so, you're probably going to land the charge if they dodge your boulder. That's another very good combo you can use. Also, obviously, if your enemy is coming in off the map, you can use your boulder if they're high enough vulnerability and it will eliminate them from the match immediately immediately now we're going to go on to the charge the charge is the hardest thing to land on your enemies with hercules and the reason for that is very simple if somebody knows how hercules works you can kind of pay attention close enough when he's charging and you know exactly when he's going to reactivate it to try to shoulder tackle you so you're not going to land this on your opponents all the time unless you beta dodge or they're just truly not paying attention however remember with your charge as you're using it the longer it's charging the heavier the knockback is going to be so technically if you learn how to maneuver it properly you will have a higher chance of landing it on your enemy so one of the things i love to do is throw my boulder get them to either beta dodge and if they choose not to beta dodge well guess what happens they take boulder damage but if they do however dodge through it i will immediately go into my charge and knock them back the charge is very good for knocking enemies off the map you can literally do a rage quit combo where you get enough momentum with it where you can literally hit them while they're coming in and eliminate them straight off the map just pay attention to how it is you're also invulnerable to some attacks not all attacks some attacks so you can just use it to run and do a little damage while you're running by your enemies without even reactivating or just get to the other side of the map sometimes it's very good to just kite around now his ultimate is extremely important your ultimate has two massive phases obviously it's the same thing boom 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 where you're jumping around swinging your mace and the third hit on the combo is the one with the massive knockback so keep that in mind if you learn how to control this form you can jump up little platforms or maneuver around now here's the thing with this you want to activate it when you're close enough to your enemies also note that the third slam on Hercules's ultimate actually has a decent range so sometimes with that you don't need to be exactly in their face to knock them out now for Hercules ultimate once you maneuver around properly and collect your enemies with the first hit nine out of ten times you're going to still get the full combo off on them knocking them out of the map the only real way to dodge this ultimate is make sure you're far away when he pops it or use your mobility to get to the other side of the map or just stay in the sky while he's pouncing around you can also kite right off the edge of the map like when you're doing it against Athena so you don't get hit with the ultimate all these things are available to you so by being able to know how to avoid hercules's ultimate you can better prepare of when you should use it to knock out your enemies and ensure yourself a victory now one more thing i want to touch on hercules is his hold heavy attack when you use your hold heavy attack with hercules he actually rips a piece of the ground out creating a little ledge like he's on the lion king ready to hold up simba now that little ledge can come in handy you can use it as a ramp for your charge you can use it to get some more momentum or elevation sorry when you're going in for an aerial attack you can even use it to stand up there and look pretty cool and strong as ever because i mean you are hercules however there is another way i like to use it very few times i actually get this off if you happen to use your hold heavy attack and you miss your opponent just by a little bit so it doesn't actually do any damage to them what actually happens if they're coming into an attack and are at a closer range they will simply have their attack canceled they'll just hit this wall and they'll do nothing to you you can literally use that moment to come down and just do some nasty damage to them increasing their vulnerability that's really it about hercules he's a pretty decent character he's average but you know one of the things he's not like sun wukong or loki so if you're having a good time with fast-paced characters this is not hercules he comes with the strength of knockback and doing massive damage However, he is very easy to deal with, in my opinion. Going up against Hercules in 1v1, I would say 8 out of 10 times, you have a chance of victory. When you're using him in 2v2, you have a better chance of being victorious because he's a very good bruiser. He works perfectly for teams, and you basically tank that damage and knock your opponents around. Now, with that being said, that's all for this guide right now. As I increase my skill with Hercules, I will make another guide to show you guys how to become an even better strong boy. And that's really it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and this helps you increase your skill with Hercules, and I'll see you guys next time. Next time. Bye.